Hey, it's Jolene from Ride the Wind. I've been dying to do this video. Finally, it's been such a long wait to get in the Emo TTSs. Um, it's been a long wait for everything, but I finally got them and I can redo the video of comparing these two bikes. So the question is, which one's better? Um, that's personal preference. It definitely is. I want to kind of showcase in this video um, the size of these two bikes. Um, they are so almost identical, but yet they definitely have a lot of differences as well. Um, the back end, you can see of the Tau. So first of all, this is the Leo, or sorry, duh. This is the Emo. Emo GTS just came out in this new dark kind of royal blue. It's gorgeous, actually. Um, no metallic. And then this is the Tau Leo. Okay, so the Emo comes in nine different battery choices. The Tau Leo comes in two. 7232 lead acid, 3399, and the 7240 amp hour lithium, it's 4299. The Emo zone starts at 2999, that's for a 72 volt, 20 amp hour lead acid. Don't recommend it at all, it gets like really crappy distance. Spend the 400 bucks and get the GTS. GTS really is, you're not getting anything different other than it's the 45 amp hour lithium batteries. It's heavy as hell. Um, sorry. It is definitely estimated to be close to 400 pounds. It is a heavy bike, but um, the distance is still rated from 75 to 85, which is awesome. So for 33.99, if you're gonna go with lead acid, go with this one. If you're gonna go with lithium, I would say the Leo. The Leo has a go fast button. The, this bike will do 80, 90, almost 100 kilometers out of the crate. There is a toggle here. Or as you can see it just down at the bottom. That toggle will switch you from doing about 25 to 30 kilometers to doing, like I said, 70, 80, 90 kilometers an hour. The Emo Zone, with it unlimited, will only do about 50. Okay, so that sometimes right there is a selling point. We all know that the law is 32, but let's be real here. Um, if you want to take this bike off road, you still want to know what the top speed is, right? Always the question. So I'm going to be honest with you and tell you those are the speeds and we all know what the laws are. So carrying on. Um, my first video I did, I said that the Leo has cruise control. No. No, it doesn't. My bad. This is actually another horn. <laughs> that happens sometimes. <laughs> so no, it does not have cruise control, um, but it does have reverse. So it doesn't seem like it, you would really use it or it's that cool, but it's actually really, really handy. The reverse is nice. Um, gotta say it like that. Uh, the Emo comes with a radio. I really like that feature. Um, a few nicer touches um, with the uh, blue reservoirs. Um, it actually does have cruise control and you have a three speed uh, limiter, right? So low is gonna be like 25, 32, and then up to 50 top speed. Turning it on. We got signals on here, yep. Um, it has a voltmeter, which got cut off a little bit there. Um, as I was saying, these two buttons don't do anything, but on the Tau Leo, they do. Sorry, on the right, this is your trip. So you always have your odometer, trip, and then just press and hold that. And it'll zero that out, okay? Kill switch on both of them. Your lights here, daylight, night lights. High beam, low beam is a little different. High beam, low beam there, okay. Seats have, are slightly different, just a couple different angles on them. Um, these are an upgrade with this bike, so don't think that the Tau Leo comes with those adjustable handles. I put that on. Um, it's like 50 bucks to do that. It's a great option. Um, they're much nicer. So uh, let me just turn the lights on for the Emo. I gotta give the uh, give props to the new lights. They look. 
look awesome. Um, LEDs as well, where the town did not do an LED for their daylight or their high beams, but they do have the really nice LEDs along the side. And uh, I, that, those come on with your daylights. I like to keep those on all the time. They look awesome. So, go back to Nemo. Again, it's really hard to see because it's not light, but these actually all do light up. I'd like to see what those look like in the nighttime. Um, and components are different. So are these made in the same factory? Fuck no, they're not made in the same factory, but they're made in the same country. Okay, so you're gonna have a lot of similarities. You're gonna have a lot of parts that you think that you might be able to switch between them, um, but no, not everything. Um, a lot of the paneling looks the same, but uh, there's gonna be minor um, differences. Like for example, the bearings. I, I know you can't uh, swap out the bearings on these. From what I hear, you see the calibers at the back are lower on this one. They're set up higher on the Tau. But yeah. Both awesome bikes, both great choices. The um, Emo can come with a double pack 42 amp hour um, lithium battery. It's like 7,500 bucks and then you're getting up to like over eight grand with taxes and free PDI, so that's a nice thing. But um, two really awesome bikes. Selling like absolute bananas man bananas so for anybody uh sorry for the long video but for anybody you know contemplating like which bike's better which bike do i get it kind of comes down to speed if you really feel like you need that speed then go with tau their online sucks their online website is in a working process right now emo has a fantastic online uh with all the most of the information not everything you know these motors are not actually 500 watts they wouldn't even go down a, like, they, you can't move a bike like this on 500 watts. But anyways, um, what else? Uh, Tao's warranty is a little better. It's six months inclusive, one year for controller, two years for the motor and the frame. And then Emo is a six months on battery and charger, and then one year inclusive. So pros and cons. And, uh, but both fantastic companies. I got to say, I can bring in Daymac. I'm not impressed with the price point and the quality. I think uh, when it comes to a full-size motorcycle, there's nothing better than a better choice than these two. You can go with some of those other off makes as I call them, but good luck getting any dealer support. Good luck getting any parts down the road. Um, you know, a company that brings in their own bike, you are married to that company, at least with uh, Emo um, has over 100 dealers across Ontario and Tau, if you don't know, oh, there goes my video, is an international company. They are they are all over Canada. They're actually much bigger worldwide. But uh, any questions, let me know and thanks for watching.